a lot of people are hiding from you because they're ashamed to admit they were wrong about you. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They're watching you attract good things. That's what's going on, you guys. That's why all my readings are talking about this. At least most of them. They're bottling up their emotions. You know, look. Did you really expect people to be happy for you? Did you really expect that? But you know what you can do, though? Um, and you're ready for this. You're ready. You've been prepared. Unfortunately, like, okay... Sorry, my, my, my brain's hopping a bit because I'm just getting a lot of energy and I'm very excited for you. It's a good energy. And the reason I'm hopping a bit is because I'm torn between, you know, there's stuff coming at me from 3D and stuff I just want you to, I want you to go more 4D, 5D, okay? We're talking about ascension here. Let's talk about the things that aren't of the physical. And what I mean by that is focus on the good things. Don't focus on who's not talking to you or who sent a negative energy your way. You are bathed in a divine white light of protection you are protected there's nothing anyone can do about it i'm going to speak this into your life anything sent to harm you always increases your abundance and makes you more stunningly attractive now be careful with this because it works <laughs> it works and um only when used with unconditional love you got to drop the hate drop the unforgiveness and that's what I'm manifesting for you. Let me pull a few more cards just to give you some encouragement. I just don't feel like I need to give any energy to this because I don't want you giving energy to it. I want you to just focus on the good things. Look, live your life in truth came right out. It just like sort of just tumbled out. Live your life in truth. Live this good, authentic life of you attracting good things in truth. Now, here's what I mean. I'm not saying you need to brag. Please, you know, in fact, I would probably refrain from posting stuff on social media to brag. Um... You know, like if you're going on trips or something, I would probably keep that to a minimum because it's just how, look, that's 3D. That's this three-dimensional world we live in, and that's just the truth, and we're trying to ascend out of it. Because when you post stuff like that without, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, like, maybe there could be a reason you need to. Like maybe you're a content creator who travels and you have to post video. What I'm saying is there's no reason to draw attention to the things you have. Like the Bible says, pride cometh before a fall. A haughty spirit comes before a fall. Um, that means, you know, if you're out there bragging, what's going to happen? You know, you're just drawing in people who are, no, keep going, keep going past this, keep going past this. Like, don't worry about what people think. I know it, it, when good things happen, especially when you've had people who have been discouraging you, trying to hold you back, uh, um, especially when that's happened i know the natural thing is you want to rub it in their face look how good i did blah, blah, blah. no there's no reason to do that there's really no reason to do that just you practice self-care every day you have control over your thoughts you attract healthy relationships go within just work on yourself don't worry about what they're thinking in fact the less you worry about what they think the the better you're going to do like just the best revenge, if you want to call it that, and I hate even looking at it that way because really you shouldn't even want bad things for your enemies. The way we play the game here is like what Jesus said, bless those who curse you, and it's hard. It can be hard, when you, at least at first. It kind of gets fun after a while because when you start to see your life get better because you've blessed those who curse you, because you're sending good thoughts and prayers and manifestations, even to those people who don't want good things for you, oh my gosh, your life's going to explode. When you start being grateful and you start imagining good things happening to even your enemies oh my gosh you just wait your life oh that is self-care right there taking time to ment to mentally think about good things happening to your enemies to send thoughts and positive emotions to your enemies to pray for your enemies to bless those who persecute you that is self-care because that is going to take care of you that is going to be the best thing you ever did it's going to make every good thing come into your life you got to do it authentically, though. And I'm going to, I'm actually sending the, that your way now because I want you to experience it. I want you to let go of karma, let go of unforgiveness. Forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. Have control over your thoughts. Don't have bad thoughts about your enemies. Don't think about, you know, oh, I wish I could, you know, if I saw them in person, here's what I'd do to them, but I'd end up in jail. Don't have that thought. I know. That's what this 3D world wants. That's the whole point. Look, I had those thoughts before, too. I'm not ashamed to admit it because I've let go of shame, too. What I have done, though, is changed my thoughts. I don't have those thoughts about people anymore, even people who have really wronged me. You know what? I send positive energy their way. And you know what? I have, re re <laughs> I have reaped so much good karma. 
But I mean it. I do want good things for them because that's how the game is played, guys. I want them to attract good things, and I want me to attract good things, and I want you to attract good, good things. So have control over your thoughts, and don't sit around talking about the bad things happening to your enemies. Talk about good things happening to them, and guess what? Good things will happen to you. You attract good things. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.